hey guys uh, welcome back to my another video uh, this video is going to be very short uh, tutorials uh, basically this is going to be very basic and in this video I'm gonna create a little timer and this is going to be in react applications okay so currently I'm running the uh, the react project here and as you guys can see it's, it has this uh, it's running on localhost 3000 and if you guys don't know how to create a react project then you can go is react cli and um, go to yeah react cli and it will tell you here and you guys need to follow this i hope you guys know about the npm and the node but just just install the node and you just use this command and it will create your app that's it so this is the app so i'm going to create a timer basically it's not timer it should be a clock uh, it's going to be very simple uh, i just want to show you how this is going to be created but it's very simple guys so okay so for the first thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new component here okay uh, components and let me create the components name called the clock js okay so basically this will give me uh, the clock js clock and js okay so now let me create the uh, react component here so for that one i will use this one uh if you guys don't know how to use i um, i use a shortcut basically that snippet but uh, you guys can install this uh where is that react extension uh this one uh, not this one sorry <laughs> yes this one Yep, React Native Snip, React Redux GraphQL, React Native Snippet, and you guys can type easily React Component Export. Uh, uh, sorry, React this one, React Function uh, Component Export, and this will create you a little a snippet of it. Okay, otherwise you can type as well if you like it, or you can use this command as well. Okay, so this is going, going to be very simple. So basically now I'm going to create here the clock and I'm going to use this clock here in app.js and this is the template that is coming with the OCL which is coming with this uh, React template but I don't want to use that and I want to remove it and I will use the here the clock. Okay, so I will import this clock where it's coming from and it's coming from there. So now if I refresh this, uh, it should automatically refresh but if it's not then so just refresh it for for once here it is it's just a clock here which is good so instead of clock here i want to i want to create the clock here it's similarly like a digital clock like this exactly like this digital clock is going to create like this okay so now let's let me create the let me create the state here okay this is going to be our inner state for the uh, the clock here so i will use use state and i will import the use state from react here okay so the initial state would be a zero and let me create this the state is going to be set uh, set the clock state okay and make this as smaller and now this is going to be my cre uh, state and let me create the effect if you guys didn't know how the life cycle work it's it's a life cycle event that will trigger here use effect and it's going to call this every time when it's loading at first time but what i'm going to do is every time when it's loaded at the first time then i will want to use a set timeout function uh not set up so sorry sorry <laughs> it's a set interval and set interval should be uh, every like one second so every one second this will call these functions here okay so i know it's complaining the use effect not defined so i need to import that from react so once i have this set interval so what i'm going to do here i'm going to create a new date here and basically i will put that in a here as a date uh, constant and whenever i have this date here in a constant then I will set to my state. It's going to be really basic, guys. So basically, now I will just use this as my time string. Okay. So now I will every time when it's loaded, then it's already get a date here, and it will set the the clock here as a digital clock. So the next step is I just need to import it. And now here it is. It says that 641 649 like that exactly the same digital clock which i have 17 18 19 c and now let me make this little bigger uh, it's pretty smaller we can't even see what's really going on actually we we see it but let me make, make this little bigger here 
so let me do it as a 25 pixel font size right and then it's already in the middle because i have that before the css here so let me make this big oh maybe make it a little bigger than this i guess bigger than this okay and just give a margin here a uh, 10 pixel or or 20 it doesn't even matter how, what, what, how many pixel margin you want to give it all right 60 pixel doesn't matter here it is right so this is a digital clock and this is going to be created exactly like this and that's all for this guys uh, that's all for this tutorial guys hope you guys learned something new this is a really basic but i'm gonna put this code to the github and uh, thank you very much uh, for uh, watching this video and if you guys like my video please do subscribe and a like and thank you very much guys bye